Let's do some shadows of spheres on horizontal surfaces using parallel light. I made a couple spheres. So if you look on, uh, I think it was video 57, 58, it talks about drawing spheres, which is a whole other thing in itself. Um, here's two of them. This one is in perspective, but this one I was going to do um, not in perspective. See the, the green line? It's not really a circle. Like spheres are balls, but this one is over to the left of the viewer. So I did a cube and then made cross sections, vertical, horizontal cross sections inside of the cube. And there's this horizontal cross section, vertical cross section, and there's one, another vertical cross section that is just, it's facing you in one point perspective. So you can see when I put this ellipse in, man, the edge of the, uh, uh, the sphere is right there. And then over here where it's a little like there's less distortion, it's, it's a little bit outside of this point. We have these points, these four, one, two, three, these four points. This is where the sphere touches this cube. Um, and then up here, it touches the cube there, touches here, and it touches down there, right? That dot is right where it's setting. So, so a, a sphere in perspective is, is not really a circle, but over on this one, I thought I would make it a circle because you probably don't want to make it like in perspective because I could look at that and I could see it looks like slightly distorted out here. So normally I would just like draw a cube because you want to know like where the cube is setting. And then I did this little ellipse here. I know we're, this is kind of not having, that's a little bit to do with shadows. And um, see, then I would come over here and like maybe have to adjust the center point. So it's not actually in the center of this sphere and then draw a real circle. Problem is, you know, this is going to mess things up a little bit because all these points that I found are actually points that are in perspective. So now I just made a real circle that is, um, these points don't truly apply to that circle anymore. Okay, so, um, I think I'll go over to this one and we'll do the shadow of this. So first thing, maybe I'll zoom in because we don't need to look at the other one. There. So the light angle, I got to pick a light angle and let's say, let's pick, let's, let's do a 45 degree light angle. I don't want it to be too far away. 60 would, 30 would make it like pretty far. And 60, I think it's gonna make it too close. So let's do 45. So here's my light angle at 45 degrees. And it's gonna come in here and it touches this sphere like right there. And this side touches this sphere right there. So um, <clears throat> this is where the shadow is going to be on this sphere. But um, the thing is, we need to figure out what that ellipse is going to be for the, like the core shadow. So it is going to be 90 degrees from the light angle. So we're going to like, see here's the horizontal cross section of this sphere, which gives you this ellipse. And this would be the core shadow if the light was coming straight down, then it would be easy because here'd be our core shadow right there. Um, so the light's coming at a 45 degree angle and the sun's directly to the left of the viewer. So I need to draw like this. I need to draw another cross section of this sphere but I need to do it at a 45 degree angle. 
90 degrees from, like where the sun is coming from. So if I put this, I'm gonna go right from the middle of this. And here's a line, 90 degrees from the light angle. Let's draw a light angle right through the center of this. Uh, there's probably a more streamlined way of doing this, but I think this hopefully explains it well. Okay, so here's a line going back to the center of vision. We have that already on here. And this dot is where the, um, the sphere touches this, this box, this cube. So my, my little square that I'm going to draw, maybe I should draw it in a different color than this, the color I'm using for the light angle. Maybe um, let's go with blue, I haven't used blue. So here's my 45 degree angle. And here is a 45 degree angle and a 45 degree angle back here. That little dot back there is where the sphere touches the back of the, this cube. So this point is where the center line will hit the this, this sphere, this cross section here. This is just a circle. This is just a one point perspective circle. And then this touches here, it's a little tighter in through here. So this is going to be, I could do an eight point ellipse here. It's really pretty skinny, but in this, See, this is, see, comes out along here and then it hits right where the light angle hits the edge of the sphere. And then this is wrapping behind the sphere around the corner. And then this is hitting the edge of the sphere right there. I'm drawing strong through the form. So this, it's pretty small, little skinny lips but this is your core shadow all of this is in shadow this is the back side of the core shadow the size of this square is going to be the same size as this square this cross section. I guess another way to do it would be just to take this distance from here to here. Just, you could take that and measure this and just swing it down like that. And take this distance, which is gonna be the same, take that and swing it up and do that. And you get, because this, it's just like, all you're doing is taking this cross section here and you're just turning it at a 45 degree angle. So that's just, the, that is just the core shadow of this sphere, but we still haven't done the cast shadow of this sphere. So we, we have to do that next. And then um, maybe we'll, do one for, for this guy too. This is gonna to be the same thing. I might just like save some time and, and do this one all over again and um, have them both for you.